Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 44-year-old male with complaints of right arm weakness for the past week or so. It's in the back of the arm, he said the triceps area. He does work out. He's been working out pretty hard for the past six months or so, but has done nothing crazy recently. He also has some weakness in the thumb and index finger over the past week as well. So not just the uh, back of the arm, the triceps, but also this um, weakness in the thumb and index finger. And if we look on this view, this is called a T1 weighted sequence where fat, subcutaneous fat is bright, marrow that has fat is bright. This is the humerus. This is the thick cortical bone, the cortex. It doesn't have any fat in it or fluid. The gray signal here is the muscle. Here's the biceps area in the front. These are the extensors back here, triceps area. And the muscles are pretty homogeneous on this. Now, T1 images, if they were fluid, it would be dark. So we wouldn't really see if there was some gray fluid in the muscle would be invisible. But if we put up a T2 weighted view, things look really similar. There's bright subcutaneous fat, bright you know, fatty marrow, dark cortex. These are the neurovascular structures. And fluid, if there were a fluid collection, that would show up as bright in the muscle. But I don't see any fluid collection in the muscle. But if we go down and back up, things look pretty good, except for if we window this. When we window this, we can see the uh, contrast stand a little bit more. We see dark muscle, dark muscle looking pretty homogeneous through here. But there's this muscle, part of the triceps, is a little bit too bright. And so as we really window this down, we say, wait a minute, so there may be some edema in this muscle because fluid will stand out in this sequence. We have another sequence that's a little bit more sensitive. Let's put it up and see if this is true or if we're just getting faked out. This is very sensitive for fluid, so subcutaneous fat is now dark. Marrow is dark, cortex is dark, blood vessels stand out, and any sort of fluid will stand out. So if there were a cyst, it would look kind of like this blood vessel, really bright. But you can see this triceps is bright. So this is evidence that, yeah, this is definitely abnormal. Dark muscle, bright muscle. This is um, edema within the muscle. So what would cause edema within the triceps muscle? And all the other muscles look pretty good. Well, one thing can be um, nonspecific myositis. If they have inflammation of the muscle from unknown causes, infection, it's possible. That's rare. Uh, something we see pretty regularly is what we call delayed onset of muscle soreness. If someone works out too much, pushes it too hard, then a couple days later, the uh, muscle will become sore, it'll become edematous, just like this. The thing about that, though, is that he hasn't done anything recently that he thought would uh, cause the muscle to be this sore. And this has been eight days, and it's still just as bad as it was. And the other thing that goes against that is that he also has the numbness in his thumb and index finger, which is along the course of the radial nerve. And this muscle is also innervated by the radial nerve, so the combination of muscle edema for a while now, eight days, without any real uh, significant overuse, and also the um, palsy down in the hand makes us think that there is a radial nerve palsy that's affecting this triceps muscle belly and the uh, fingers in the hand. And when we have a palsy, we always look for some cause. Sometimes you can find a cyst or a neural tumor. Uh, but we do not see anything. Sometimes people will use crutches and they'll pinch the radial nerve or sleep funny and, and get a radial nerve palsy. But again, this patient doesn't have any history of that. So they're going to follow up with their orthopedic surgeon and then a neurologist to try to uh, get a plan together. And that's it. Thank you so much.